news and great basketball action for today as we bring you the Ogbet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season. We are here at the Batanga City Coliseum. This is presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. And you see here the players warming up. Mindoro Tamarao is led by Tate Todoro. And here, Man Makati Manila Kingpin led by Larry Arpia, who is looking to bounce back from their loss last game. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Javi Palanya, and with me is Coach JV Gayoso. We are going to bring you the action for tonight. We have a double header for you today dito sa MPVL ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Both teams, Coach, coming off a loss against the same team, Val City, MJ Zenith. And both teams also loaded with youthful firepower. This game, Coach, is going to be a dogfight. It's going to be a fast-paced game for sure. Ang lakas na ng ulan sa labas kanina papunta dito, lalakas ulit, I'm sure, ang labanan sa ating first game sa MPVL. As we said earlier, we have two games for you. An exciting doubleheader in our first game. The Makati Manila Kingpin going up against the Medora Tams, CDO Idol, Cheese Dog. And in our second game, Pasig will be debuting against Batangas City Embassy Chill, the, our home team. As you see on your screens, once again, Larry Arpia, who led Makati Manila Kingpin in their loss against Val City M. Jazz Zenith, will be leading his squad once again today. And coach, these are the numbers from that first game. Makati lost to M. Jazz Zenith 52 to 56. Coach, very low scoring game between these two teams. Low field goal percentage between the two squads. Oh, nga, makikita natin dito, Javi, 32%. Surprisingly higher ang Makati. But it's the second chance opportunities that really uh, prevented Makati from pulling off a win. 17 points ang nakuha ng uh, Ma I'm, I'm Val City. No, Val City. Yeah, my apologies. And the rebounding as well, 63 to 47. Bench points, dun no makakita. Deep bench talaga ang both teams. Uh, but yun, medyo extra effort ang nailagay ng Val City. That's why titingnan natin kung makabawi ang Makati sa gabing ito. That's right, Coach. When you are out-rebounded by that big a margin, it's really hard for you to pull off a win, especially in a close game like that. Let's move on over to the Mindoro Tams. This team is also filled with youthful firepower, but they are led by a veteran in Tete Todoro. This game was also a low-scoring game. Both teams also not shooting very well from the field. 28.4% for the Mindoro Tams compared to Val City's 39.2%. But the three-point field goals of Mindoro kept them in the game. Ito nga makikita natin, uh, 10 of 33 for the Tams. Abang 6 of 25 lang para sa Val City. Pero yun nga, yung extra effort na binibigay uh, ng, ng Val Valenzuela. That's the reason why natatalo ang kanilang mga kalaban. Fast break points, 18 to 6. Mindoro needs to adjust, especially uh, against Makati. Both coming off a loss, they have to put extra energy talaga in those, those, those assets of the game that will really help pull off a win. That's very right, Coach. And as you can see nga from those numbers that both teams really need to work more on the rebounding in this game to win in this match. As we see here, the participating teams from both divisions, we have on the Northern Division side, Bataan, Caloocan, Makati, Manila, Marikina, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Pasig, Quezon City, San Juan, in Valenzuela. And on the other side, the Southern Division, we have Bacolod, Bacoor, Batangas, Jensan, Imus, Mindoro, Rizal, Zarangani, and Zamboanga. These are the teams that will be seeing action dito sa 2022 regular season. Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Napaka-exciting, Javi, dahil maraming mga talent tayong makikita, mga kabataan mixed with the, the experienced players of the previous teams dito sa MPBL. Very exciting a season natin ngayon. Looking forward especially to this game. Exactly, Coach. And alam naman natin na matagal na natin inaantay ulit na makabalik ang MPBL because we know that the MPBL plays all year round and we want to see exciting players go up against the young guns 
dito sa MPBL and we have a lot of action in store for you in the coming months so stay tuned for that mga kaibigan I'm sure Coach JB you're very excited to have the MPBL back excited kasi maraming unfamiliar faces lalo na sa mga fans ng MPBL dito na lang makikita ang panibagong talent na ipalalabas dito sa MPBL games that's right so let's get this show on the road let's turn you over to our policy of announcer Top Juliano for our player introductions for our first match of tonight's double header, it's the Makati City Manila Kingpins going up against the Mindoro Town CDO Idol Cheese Dogs. And now let's meet the starters. First up, for the Makati City Manila Kingpins. At point guard number three, Ken Chokno. Shooting guard number 23, Mark Samonte. At small forward number zero, Larry Arpia. Power forward number 11, Kako Morales. And at center number 16, Vince Sarmiento. Head coach for Makati is Miss Valencia. And now make way for the starters of the Mindoro Ham CDO Idol Tree Stars. At point guard number 18, Gold Panilio. Power forward number 8, Marsunga. At center number 19, Carlo Abadessa. Small forward number 20, Rodel Vaita. And at shooting guard number 41, Tay Tay Chundoro. Head coach for Mindoro is Greg Santos. Officials for the ball game are Eddie Fernando. Head coach for the Liga and Mike Addy, Francisco Jr. Torkman, Isidro Pino, Pino. And here are your starters for both squads on the side of Makati Kens, Jokno, Max Samonte in the guard spots, Vince Sarmiento, the man in the middle, Kako Morales and Larry Arpia filling out the forward spots for Coach Vis Valencia. Sa kabilang dako naman, Dominic Palilio, Tete Teodoro, the veteran, Carlo Abadeza, the man in the middle, Lars Sunga and Rodel Vaigan rounding out the starters for Mindoro Tams. Alam mo, Javi, itong si Tete Teodoro, it would be nice to see how he would react playing against these young players. Players. Usually, magkakaroon ng tendency kasi na overconfident ka playing against the young guns. But these guys, I'm sure, are out to kill him tonight sa larong ito. That's right, Coach. And this is a homecoming of sorts for Tete Teodoro as he played for Batanga City in our inaugural MPBL season. So let's see if the sort of home court advantage will uh, factor in into his play today. Some kind of familiarity as Jokno misses the opening basket but Sarmento is there to clean up the mess. Medyo setback doon sa pag box out. Ano? Nakabigyan ng extra point. Extra chance opportunity agad itong Makati. And alam naman natin that rebounding will be very important for both squads as both of them were down in the rebounding department ng previous games nila. Tama ka dun, Javi. That should have given them a, the uh, call sign na na, Uy, ayusin natin ang pagbabox out. No second chance opportunities. No offensive rebounding for our opponents. And Sunga missing on the three. But Rodel by God getting the offensive rebound and the putback. So both squads getting offensive rebounds on their first possessions and first baskets. Coach. Looks like buong gabi natin babanggitin itong aspect ng game na ito because yun talaga ang medyo naipakita ng previous game that dun sila weak, both teams na ito. And Coach, seeing as both squads are filled with young guns, no? at this level ba nagkakaroon ng factor yung pagiging bata dun sa giving importance to the rebounding. Well, of course, because the youth have the energy, unlimited energy. And it's just a matter of having the right presence of mind to attack for a rebound. A lot of the, the youth nga lang, ang sakit nila, hindi sila aware na after a teammate shoots, they attack for the rebound. That's right, coach. And alam naman natin that rebounding is all about instinct as Jokno uh, knocks down a fast break layup right there. Tete Teodoro right now setting up for Mindoro. Sunga attempts another three short once again and possession will swing back to Makati. Outside shooting ngayon ang nire-rely ng Mindoro. 
makita natin in their previous game once again, mababa ang percentage nila outside shots. But you know, I guess the, at the start of the game, here we see that replay, the fast break, the steal. Diokno attempts a jumper from the right wing, misses, and Mindoro is out to run. Tidoro at the top of the key. Met by two defenders. Vaigan is free from the right corner. As you said earlier, Coach Rodel Vaigan, you see this guy when you were sports director for Lyceum. Try to shoot a lot from the outside and looks like that's what he's trying to do in this game. Oh, oh we actually thought he wasn't serious about playing but he has the range. Kayang kaya niya shoot. Talaga ang, ang uh, mga attempts niya. And that's why I'm not surprised that he's trying to shoot the lights out dito pa lang sa umpisa. Yeah, and both teams really helter-skelter basketball to start this match, trying to find their footing and rhythm early on in this first quarter. Makati trying to set up their offense. Jokno is fouled on the drive. Alam mo, Javi, I need to point out, on the early years of itong MPBL, Tete Chidoro would often come off the bench and would do a great job. This is actually the first time I saw him starting a game. Well, him being the veteran coach, I'm sure uh, Mindoro is looking for him to have that kind of leadership to lead this young squad in this MPBL season. Totoo yun. Yokno losing possession right there. He has been trying to attack the paint early on in this match, but has been unsuccessful in that drive by Gan, receiving the ball on the wing. Abadeza. Gives it up to Tidoro. The lefty makes a three-pointer. Score is 5-4 to four para sa Mindoro. Lead swings back to them. I'm pretty sure, Javi, they're gonna show that replay once again. Pansinin natin dun. Konting spasyo lang. Tete Tidoro, his experience, gagamitin niya talaga to take that shot. That's right. And Larry Arpia missing on a shot. But another offensive rebound right here for Makati. But Samonte missing on the three from the right wing. Vaigan is free again, but gives it up at the last minute to Abadeza, who scores on a layup. Unselfish play and the smart thing to do, give it to the person with a higher percentage shot. Closer to the basket, better chance to score. Arpia setting it up for Makati. He's asking for a ball screen. Larry Arpia attempting a jumper. Misses, but Sarmiento is there again with the offensive rebound. Second offensive rebound. Second put back for Sarmiento. Dito natin makikita na kailangan talaga mag-adjust Mindoro on their defensive end. And another turnover for the Tams. Makati. Ooh, Jokno just throwing that ball away. Coach, parang both teams medyo uptight pa to start this match, don't you think? Uptight because yung defense ng both teams, pinapakita, very excited, very eager. Uh, ang depensa, matindi yung hand action na pinapakita ng kalabang, kaya medyo tense ang offense ng both teams. As we see the turnover story here, 4-1, to one, Mindoro having four turnovers. Again, and another turnover, just as, as I said that Samonte now trying to lead the fast break for Makati, pero they will hold it back, but turnover swinging back again to Mendoro. Both teams just exchanging turnovers by Gun missing on a layup there, but his teammate is right there to clean up the mess and is fouled on that attempt. Well, we mentioned it, Javi, this is going to be an exciting ball game on both ends, you know? and they're going to run every opportunity they get once they steal that ball. That's right, and as we turn over to the third member of our broadcast panel, Sheila Salaysay. Sheila, what do you have for us? Losing our first game, the Tams realized that uh, their lack of experience on the on the playing floor also hindi din ganun sapat yung oras ng uh, practice nila together as a team. Isang advantage din para sa kanila na wala ang veterano na si Rodel Vaigano, their first game. But today is somewhat they are on the same playing field as the Makati. They are more prepared and they have uh, Tete Chodoro and another veteran on their team. Looking forward for their first win tonight. Balik sa inyo. Thank you so much for that, Sheila. And... That is a good point that you pointed out. No, si Rodel Vaigan playing his first game today for Mindoro. Added veteran leadership along with Tate Tidoro to lead the squad. Oh, nga. Thank you, Sheila, no, for that added info. Great penetration there. Great penetration there on that move. 
So number 34, I want to point out lang, napakahirap, even if you have veterans back on the lineup, but playing together for quite some time is very much important as well para magkaintindihan. Eye to eye contact lang, magkakaintindihan na how to pass, how to move. But I, I guess, ito nga ang kulang ng Mindoro. As we hear this replay, Makati able to score once again on the inside. A lot of inside points being allowed by the Tams. And that's the kind of offense I'd like to see moving without the ball. It's easier to get yourself free and, uh, and go for an easy layup. So uh, missing on another three, this time from the right corner. Makati trying to pad on and break this deadlock at eight apiece. Arpia giving it up to Morales. Lastra back to Arpia. Morales attempting a three. That is pure. Good ball rotation. No, no unnecessary movement. Talagang inahanap. Nagkaroon lang ng counting space to take the shot. And he makes it. And Coach Itong Makati, uh, as we mentioned at the top of our coverage, composed of mostly players from the University of Makati system. As we see here, this last possession by Makati, Manila Kingpin. Morales attempting a three even with a hand in his face, coach. Oh, uh, nga, pero may distance. And this guy can shoot. He, you can tell by, by, by the way he releases confident na confidence. Santa Maria over to Sobre Vega. Under the three attempted, but a miss this time by Makati. Mindoro is looking to run three on one break. Mindoro recovers possession. Another three pointer. And that is the second three pointer of the game by Tate Todoro, the former JRU heavy bomber with six points already in this match. Six points, dati niyang bahay ito, playing for Batangas for how many years? Mukhang natatanda ang panya ang mga angulo ng court kung saan siya pupukol. Coach, being a former player, no, when you play in arenas that you're very familiar with, does it really play into your confidence no, whenever you step onto the court? As you see the three-point field goal story, two out of seven for Mindoro, both by Tate Todoro, and one out of four for Makati Manalaking Pit. Oo, oh, oh, habi talagang laking bagay pagka-familiar ka sa lugar because you find your spots where you, you practice. All you need to do is not anymore look at the ring, but find your spot on the floor and re-release ka na lang ng tama. It's more of feel na lang, no? Feel na lang. And Tete Chador had two guys on him, but he knew he was in the spot that he's accustomed to shooting at. Mindoro missing on that jumper, but an offensive rebound. That is good. Marvin Espiritu, four points in the game right now. Santa Maria being pressured at the backcourt by Espiritu, trying to delay their offense. But Makati Manila kickpin early on, showing a lot of good ball movement. Three-pointer this time, missed by Morales. He made his first one. Mindoro looking to run. Drop pass. Offensive rebound, and that is it. Great effort on the defense. Kinu lang na lang. The first effort is always what the coaches expect. It's a second and the third. Nabigay dapat yun ng player. Up and down basketball we are seeing right here. Recto giving it up. Santa Maria. Nagtitimon dito para sa Makati. Hands it off to Morales. Here we have Sobre Vega against Teodoro. Back to Morales. Morales putting the ball on the floor. Two-man game with Sobre Vega. Another three and that is all dead by Sobre Vega. Great defense by Mindoro, better offense by Makati in Sobre Vega. You saw coach two-man game, back and forth with Sobre Vega and Morales on that play, resulting in a good three-point shot. Here's that replay, coach. Have you some stats here, no? Six, six of 15 fast break points, five of 14. And Espirito is back at the line once again, but he misses on his first. So tight game that we are still having right here between Mendoro CDO Cheese Dog and Makati Manila Kingpin. Both teams looking to get their first win dito sa MPBL season. Split right there by Espiritu. He is pressuring Santa Maria at the backcourt. 
But Santa Maria able to break that press right away. Attempts a shot for himself. That is all air. Offensive rebound. Shot clock is not reset. And possession will stay with the white shirt. That's an example of bad offense by Santa Maria. Taking it all the way. But naging good, off naging good offense because of the second chance opportunities that they got. Oh, physical play there. Well, action really building up right here in our opening quarter. Palang coach, really both teams talaga. They really want to push the tempo. Every opportunity that they get, ito Manila Kingpin, Makati Manila Kingpin, really doing better on the offensive boards. They're getting the second chance opportunities. But Mindoro doing a good job of keeping this game tight. In fact, having the lead 16 to 13 at this point of the game. Ako, I'm assuming lang, Javi, the reason why both teams are running is because they don't have legit post-up stars uh, like other teams that they can rely on to score. Ito mga non-veterans, quote-unquote, experience in their own right as being young players in their leagues. Uh, they don't really have that natural gift to score at will. And that's probably why they're running that's a very good point that you made, Coach. And as you see, again, Mindoro trying to get a fast break opportunity there. But good transition defense by Makati as they convert on the other end. That's Kobe Bryant Pableo. Well, living up to his name, Coach. Kobe Bryant. Uh. Kobe Bryant. Wow. The late break. That's right. But Recto giving it up. Mindoro trying to get something going here on offense. Baila offering a screen. And Espiritu once again drawing another foul. This is Espiritu's third time to be our guest at the charity stripe. Really aggressive play coming from Mendoro's point guard. Great outlet pass right here, coach. Kobe Bryant Pableo finishing the recipient of that fast break opportunity. That's the kind of basketball I like to see. That's the kind of basketball I was accustomed to in my time. No, Fast break all the time every time you can. Because once you lose the opportunity to run, it's tough to get it back. And a lot of players right now want to set the ball up so that they can shoot the threes. Fast break game is an exciting ball game. But coach, going back to the point that you made, Kanina, both teams don't really have legit post players and that's the reason why they're really running up the court every chance they get but of course for you to get that fast break opportunity you have to finish that defensive possession with a right. rebound with a rebound and that's their weakness allowing second chance opportunities allowing offensive rebounds sa kalaban Pableo this time trying to shoot from the outside but missing from the left corner Recto pulling up Nobody there to stop him, and he makes that comfortably. Recto pushing Mindoro's lead to 20, just at the nick of time. And our score at the end of the first quarter is 20 to 15 in favor of Mindoro Tams. Here are your highlights from the first quarter. Makati really trying to push the pace at the start of this game. But Mindoro able to catch up, especially with the heroics of the veteran Tete Tidoro hitting his stride from the outside. Itoxi Morales also contributes. And we are back here for second quarter action. Makati Manila Kingpin versus the Mindoro Tams. Score is 20 to 15 in favor of the Blue Shirts. Lots of new faces right here for Coach Vis Valencia coming in into the second quarter. Trying to get the lead back against Mindoro Tams. Again, both teams coming off losses to Val City M. Jazz and trying to get their first victory of this 2022 regular season as we look at the first quarter field goal story. 7 out of 21 for Makati and 7 out of 17 for Mindoro. Parehong 7, parehong mababang ano. Titinan natin kung mas gaganda pa ang kanilang percentages itong second quarter. Aggressive defense being shown by Makati, but Cuenco able to hoist up a three offensive rebound by Osikos 
but that attempt is foiled. Arpia head on a swivel, giving it to De La Paz at the top of the key. I think in the last split second, Azuikos decided to pass down. That's the reason why he lost the ball possession. Indecisiveness really uh, could lead to a lot of turnovers, no coach? Yes. As Giocno is fouled on that layup attempt. Baila is the one picking up the foul. Here's that replay on that previous sequence. Clear foul there. Natamaan niya dun sa mukha itong si Giocno. Giocno making his first. Split right there by Diokno. Score is 20 to 16. We are just starting itong second quarter natin. Again, we are live here at Batanga City Coliseum. My name is Javi Palani. I'm with Coach JV Gayoso. And with us on the sidelines is Ms. Sheila Salaysay. We will hear more from her in the coming moments. But right now, Mindoro Tams trying to get something going on offense here. But naputukan sila ng 24-second shot clock violation right there. Coach Visvalencia applauding the great effort of his wards on defense. Well, it's nice to see the effort. Ano? It doesn't probably look good yung offense ng both teams, but it's the defense of both teams that's causing this. A lot of turnovers, a lot of uh, helter-skelter basketball, and that's what makes it exciting, Javi. That's right, Coach. It's really the youthful energy that both teams bring ang nakakapag-excite dito sa laro na to because both teams really want to push the tempo as Larry Arpia does it finishes the hoop and the harm itong si Larry Arpia coach he scored 13 points in 23 minutes before going out with an apparent hamstring injury in their game against Val City he, came, he played a day after coming home from the US wow ang hirap nun and that's the reason why the, the travel I think was the one that caused Cause siguro yung kanyang hamstring failure, no? Yun, makita natin sa replay kanina. Good intention to make an outlet pass, pero yung execution lang, kinulang, at doon natin nakita ng agaw ng Makati team. And Larry Arpia really wanting to even better his effort, but another turnover right here as we see the rebounding story. Mindoro leading that department over Makati by a mile. But the score is now tied at 20 all. And that's the scary part. Unforced errors. Pagka ang team mo ay nakakapaggawa pa ng unforced error, dito makikita, he wasn't being much harassed. It's just that the, back, the pass was bad. Larry Arpia able to finish on that play. Fourth deadlock na tayo, Javi. Fourth deadlock of the game. Talaga, both teams not wanting to give an inch pero coach second quarter na tayo both teams may gigil factor pa rin yes kasi ang mga unit na nasa loob ngayon nakaupo earlier malamig na malamig biglang nagpress naman ito Makati with players who are actually warmed up already I think Vigan's the only one there for Mindoro that really has warmed up and another turn over right here by Mindora Arpia finishing once again on the break. That 2-1 zone press really working wonders para dito sa Makati. Six points para kay Arpia. Vaigan attempting from the outside but that one is short. Minamadali na Mindoro ang kanilang offense but that is a product of the defense itong Makati as they get another fast break opportunity but Arpia missing on that layup attempt. Panlilio, Dipsy do right there. That was a much needed basket para sa Mindoro. Alam mo, Javi, magkakaroon na tayo ng mga neck pain. <laughs> Ang bilis na. Kaliwat ka na na ating lingon. I, I think I'm gonna rely on our monitor instead rather than the, watching the action. Pero masarap panurin ang action on the, on the court because I see a lot of elbows flying. Yeah, and our referee is really allowing a little bit of physicality dito pa sa mga bata. Arpia once again scoring on a fast break opportunity. Eight points in the game para kay Larry Arpia. And you know, if you, if you write down the story of this basketball game, it's something, it's jumping from one topic to another because of the defense, the errors that it's created. 
it's something that isn't fluid but things happen and it becomes exciting exactly kaya ako, ako sa inyo mga basketball fans if you are within the vicinity of the Batanga City Coliseum please troop to the venue to catch the exciting action between Mendoro and Makati unfolding right here second quarter pa lamang tayo 6.07 remaining the score is 26 to 22 a foul is called here on Makati and we have also another exciting game dito sa second game natin Pasig going up against itong Patanga uh, City Embassy Chill so please guys catch the action if you are within the vicinity of the venue nakakatuha ito yung sinasabi nilang binulaga ng Makati through their defense ang team ng Mindoro they tied the game and now are leading only because of full court pressure and waiting for errors to happen by their hand movements and running game. And coach, there seems to be not, no press break talaga na, na, na talagang ginagawa nitong Mindoro to break itong pressure defense na Makati. Well, I noticed maramis kasi sa players ng Mindoro nakatalikod eh. And that's why nawawala ng papasahan ang point guard ng Mindoro. Pableo kicking it out to Jokno. Another three right there. Good box out by Mindoro, but rebound ending up again with Makati. And the foul will be called on the white shirt, so possession will swing back to Mindoro. The score is 26 to 23. We are about halfway into the second period. Tete Todoro back in the game together with Rodel Vaigan trying to get this lead back into their control pressure defense once again being exhibited by the white shirts 14 turnovers na ngayon Javi ang Mindoro kumpara sa apat lang for Makati the coach that's almost uh, whole game total eh. points off turnovers 14 points na itong Makati and 6 lamang para dito sa Mindoro 14 turnovers coach we're just almost halfway into the second quarter. You know, it's nice to you put all the effort on trying to get the ball back. It's even better once you can, you're able to score, and that's what Makati has been doing. They put a lot of effort on pressuring the offense of Mindoro, and they're able to score once they get that ball from Mindoro. Arpia trying to get another basket here para sa Makati. Manilaking pin gets a screen. Crossover three pointer far to the right and another offensive rebound. Jokno able to get another basket. Itok si Jokno coach, not the tallest of players, but very aggressive in getting for those offensive rebounds. So, to don't have you know, you're, you're right in, with saying that. But most of everybody actually in, in, ano, in Makati, bago ko to pusin yan, inside points, nakita natin earlier. Everyone in Makati, they're reaching for the ball. Habang Mindoro is waiting for the ball. And that's the reason why Makati gets a ch second chance to score. And as we were talking about that, Tati Todoro knocking down his third three-pointer of the game to trim the lead to two. But Yokno once again being fouled on a jumper, this time from the left short corner. Makati really aggressive. Their activity, their energy bringing in the control for this game as we see this replay right here cross court pass to Tete Todoro setting up, squaring up knocking it down kissing once again to the sky three pointer right there para kay Tete Todoro same spot where he hit earlier mabanggit ko lang Javi 22 point, points in the paint itong Makati habang 10 pa lang sa Mindoro ito ang nagagawa ng kanilang intensive uh, defense na ipinapakita implement dito sa against Mindoro. Yeah, the pressure from the backcourt palamang is getting it hard for Mindoro to crack into the shaded area. Right. Or actually just crossing over to their half of the court, nahihirapan na talaga ang Mindoro. And itong Makati is capitalizing. Here's another situation. Makati gets the ball back. And you talk about, Coach, about capitalizing on those opportunities because 
wala rin naman mangyayari because if you get to force a lot of turnovers but you don't capitalize on those opportunities, wala rin mangyayari. Yes. As we go into this timeout, we will be back. The score is 28 to 26. More basketball action for you right here as we see Yokno able to get another fa a, a block right there. A rare block on Yokno. But again, timeout on the side of Mindoro. Score is 28 to 26. We will be back after these messages. And we are back right here Dito sa Batangas City Coliseum For the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League regular season Possession is with Makati Manila Kingpin They're trying to get something going right here But Vaigan able to intercept that pass But back again to the white shirts Jokno once again in the middle of that sequence This guy is just everywhere, coach Oh, totoo yun Din mo makikita yung effort niya But Medyo half-hearted ang kilos doon ng Mindoro because once they stole the ball and the, bo the, the outlet pass was made, nobody came to get that pass. Suddenly, biglang napunta na lang sa Makati. And Makati missing on that three-point attempt. Tate Todoro bringing the ball up court. Gets a screen from Abreza. Three-pointer hoisted up once again. That goes in and out. Abadeza, offensive rebound, put back is up and in, and one opportunity para dito sa Mindoro Tams. At yung mamangita ang lakas na ng slam when we see now, and still he's able to finish. Great effort right there by Abadeza, coach. I need to point out, uh, during the half, I saw, uh, during the timeout, nakita ko kausap ni Tete Chudoro ang kanyang squad, no? Doon mo makikita yung leadership talaga ng isang veterano telling everybody to act and react properly. Chudoro attempting again another three-pointer. He has missed his last two shots from the outside and someone is on the floor. This might be Sunga. Nabanggit ko nga, Javi, earlier, marami ako nakikita mga pakpak na lumilipad. Lumalabas ang mga kagandahang mga bisig nila sa... <laughs> and I'm sure, Coach, during your time as a player, you saw a lot of this. I stayed away from a lot of those elbows. Were you able to successfully stay away? <laughs> Sadly, hindi. <laughs> But right now, uh, Rodel Baigan will be our guest at the 15-foot parallel. Trying to get the lead back to Mindoro to break this deadlock. And he does on his first try. This is the 11th free throw attempt para sa Mindoro. And Baigan makes good. Two out of two. And that's good for him too to see the ball enter the ring because he's been taking outside shots. He needs to see that the visual effect of a ball entering. And that's what I notice as a shooter. Once you get that that vision, you'll understand the release. But lead swings right back to Makati Manila. Kingpin as Samonte is able to drain a three-pointer. Only the second three-pointer para dito sa Makati. By God, three on the right corner. That is good. And just as you mentioned it earlier, coach, he saw the ball go through the basket with those two free throws. No problem on that three-point try. Alakim bagay nun visual. Yun ang tinuro sa akin. 
Pag itong si Sobre Vega, sumugod naman agad. Back and forth we go right here. Sobre Vega with 5 points, biglang binura agad ang tingnan ni Vaigan. Really exciting action that we are seeing between these two squads looking for their first win dito sa ating regular season. But Abadeza able to operate once again inside successfully. We are deadlocked once again at 34. Another three-pointer by Makati. A miss right there on the right wing. Mindoro pushing the ball up court. Teodoro finds himself on the left side. But another turnover yet again by the Blue Shirts. It has Manila Kingpin. Makati runs up court. A foul is giving up Dito ng Mindoro to stop the fast break opportunity. Napapawala hinga ko pero bago ko ito loy. Ito magita natin ng replay natin. Very physical foul called right there. But kind of a frustrating situation because maganda na ang takbo ng offense nila biglang error pass at the last moment. They can't seem to create some sort of momentum and continuity dito sa kanilang offense sa independence ito ng Mindoro. Yokno pulling up again from the left elbow. That shot is pure. And the Tams have seen enough once again. We see here Yokno getting loose from his defender, pulling up from the left elbow. That shot is in. Great hang time and lift on that jump shot. Is 36 to 34 lead for Makati Manila Kingpin. We will be right back after this. We are back here dito sa Okbet Maharli ka Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. The score is 36 to 34 in favor of Makati Manila Kingpin. Possession ngayon ng Mindoro Tete with an attempt. All net. Pero frustrating for Mindoro, Javi. 17 turnovers na ang Mindoro. And Makati capitalizing with 16 points off of turnovers. Very frustrating for the coach, especially when some of those turnovers are unforced. Exactly. And coach, they are very lucky to keep the score this close at this point of the match. And in fact, they have the lead with 126 to go. Well, malaking bagay dito, Javi. You have players in Mindoro who can actually score the three at will. Kahit may bantay. In the likes of Tete Chodoro and Vaigan. And yung three-point shooting nga. Ang nakakapagdikit dito sa game na to, as we see here, Tete Todoro creating separation against his defender and knocking down another three. So Vega trying to get that three-pointer back and it is in! So Vega going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the veteran Tete Todoro. Just really the resolve of this guy to get his shots up after giving up one on the other end. See here, Sobre Vega getting a three from top of the key. Ito makita natin, eighth point ni Sobre Vega sa attempt na yun. And the score is 39 to 37. Makati back in the driver's seat. Timeout muna tayo. We will be back. And 
we are back here dito sa Batangas City Coliseum where Makati Manila Kingpin holds a slim two-point advantage over Mindoro CDO Cheese Dog. One minute left dito sa ating second quarter. AJ Todoro double team but finds Rodel Vaigan open in the shaded area. Excellent pass right there, Coach. T total difference by a veteran player bringing the ball and being harassed. He still finds a way to make that extra pass to an open teammate. This is our seventh deadlock of the game at 39 apiece. Mindoro getting the rebound, trying to push the tempo once again. Vaigan finds himself open on the left, right wing. Misses, but offensive rebound. Abadeza once again is there. Abadeza. Sunga. Multiple tries at the basket. And finally, they are successful. Hoop and the harm. Para dito kay Sunga. Sa umpisa, akala ko nagbablock lang sila sa volleyball eh. Paakyat lang ng paakyat. Ano? But it's nice to see the effort, especially with young guys going time after time for those jumps and trying to score. And Makati Manila Kingpin coach not really doing a good job of boxing out itong Mendola Tavs players as they got numerous opportunities at the basket. Meanwhile, uh, score is 42 to 39 we have 19.5 seconds remaining dito sa ating second quarter time out muna tayo muli we will be back FEBL fans after these messages Tayo po ay nagbabalik dito sa 2022 Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances Mindoro CDO Cheese Dog lamang ng tatlo laban dito sa Man Makati Manila Kingpin 42 to 39 we have 19.5 seconds remaining dito sa ating first half Makati inbounding from their backcourt Mindoro doing some backcourt pressure, giving a dose of Makati's own medicine to them, but they break the press. However, it is a turnover, and Mindoro successfully doing that pressure to gain the possession and maybe take the last shot of the first half. Tama ka dun, Javi, talagang sila naman ang nagulat sa full court pressure ng Mindoro. But this is, this is kind of a weird game. I mentioned stats, 18 turnovers ang Mindoro, yet they're up by three points. Ito makita natin offensive rebounding. 15 for Mindoro, 11 for, for Makati. And second chance points nila ay 10 to 14 in favor of Mindoro. 17 of 37 total rebounds pabor sa Mindoro. Tate Todoro, two seconds left on the clock, but misses on the far left. They fail to get the last basket of the first half, but they are still up by three points. Despite the numerous turnovers that they had, 18 turnovers in the first half, but 37 rebounds on their end compared to the 17 by Makati Manila Kingpin. Score is 42 to 39 at the end of our first half. Tete Todoro just exploding in this first half, coach. 12 points. Oh, nga, at, uh, to translate what you just mentioned, effort. Dito Tete Todoro shooting the three. Ilang tres na yata, pang apat na yata ang kanyang ipinukol. But it's the effort that both teams are putting, especially Mindoro, despite the numerous turnovers. 18. So both teams really coming up with efforts in different departments to keep themselves in this game. We have a very exciting ball game at our hands. Stay tuned mga kaibigan because I'm sure the second half will bring a lot more of action. Score is 42 to 39. We will be back after these messages.
masaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan So, okay, Bet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 at uh, makakasama ko for this halftime is the assistant team manager of uh, Mindara, Mindoro Ham CBO Idol Cheese Dong, Miss Nicole De Los Reyes. Good evening, Miss Nicole. Okay, let's talk about your previous game. It was, um, you lost that first game, pero ano ba yung mga takeaways nyo from that game? Um, siguro, um, ang masasabi ko lang dun sa first game, um, ano, nag-adjust pa. So parang the usual ano first game. So um, at the same time, meron kami iba't iba't ibang players from um, homegrown. Tapos iba't ibang players talaga eh. Kung baga may ex-pro, meron bago, may young ano. So I think um, nagka-adjust na nung first game. So kung baga it's a normal ano thing na nangyari during the first game. Uh, lamang kayo after the first half. So ano yung dapat yung consistently um, gawin for the third and fourth quarter para mapanalo itong level ko? So siguro ngayon I think um nakukuha naman namin yung ano yung uh, kumbaga yung tempo nung nung mga players. So I think kun um continue lang yung ano yung teamwork and uh, maging uh, consistent lang yung mga ginagawa natin. I think um nagiging uh, maganda naman yung ginagawa ng mga players natin. Pero kaya gusto ko salamatan or bye of course. Uh, Syempre uh, gusto ko lang po ibatiin ang ating sponsors. Um of course Mayor Ina, congratulations po. CDO, Mr. Charlie Ang, and Boss Jason Ong, Kong Mark Sambar, Selecta Feeds, Archidary, Board Member, Michael Lachon, ang bukal ng puso natin, Magneto Sports Apparel, Boss J Baling, and syempre hindi ko kakalimutan ng aking champ, ang ating idol champ. Shoutout sa'yo, Christian Palma. Galingan mo, inaabang ka namin, at huwag ka mag-ala kahit anong mangyari, ikaw ang champion namin. <laughs> Thank you very much and good luck for tonight's game as Nicole De Los Reyes ngayon third and fourth quarter sa pagitan ng Makati, Manila Kingpin and Mendoza Tam sa pagbabalik ng OK Bet Mahalaga Pilipinas Basketball League 2022.
And we are back here at the Harlika Pilipinas Basketball League regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. We are live on the Harlika Pilipinas Basketball League Facebook page. We have Bakati Manila Kingpin going up against Mendoro Tap CDO Idol Cheese Dog. Here are some highlights from the first half. A lot of steals, a lot of outside shooting. Tete Chidoro hitting one of his many threes. Makati as well. For a while, palitan lang sila ng tres. Tete Chidoro once again. And here you see the highlights from the second quarter. Yung pressure defense na Makati coach get, producing a lot of turnovers and then converting it into turnover points, really making it hard for Mendoro to even cross the half-court line. Itong si Jokno scoring a bunch of points to lead Makati, but Tete Teodoro just relentless in shooting from the outside, really carrying his team back in control. You see him here creating separation against Sobre Vega, knocking down that three-pointer, and that's the reason why Mendoro Tams up by three points at this point, 42 to 39. Here are the numbers at the half. Coach JB, please break it down for us. Ayo, makikita natin 36% field goal percentage on Makati, 41 naman for Mindoro. Rebounding wise, 37 for Mindoro. Siguro sa isang play, apat o lima, kaya napadagdag. Three point field goals, 4 of 18 for Makati, 5 of 16 naman for Mindoro. Turnovers, uh, points, makikita natin 18 for Mindoro. Now, translating all this, the effort put in by Makati is exceptional, but they need to do the same thing and even if they do the same thing they'll still end up being down against Mindoro so they have to even improve on all aspects and lessen the turn and lessen pa yung mga maling ginagawa nila but they're hindi naman talaga vis visible ang mga maling ginagawa ng Makati it's just that Mindoro started hitting their trees and that's the reason why Mindoro is up. A lot of anomalies with the numbers coach and you're, you're wondering why that this game is still close at this point as you see the leading scores at the half for both teams. Kids Jokno leading the pack for Makati Manila Kingpin. Meanwhile, veteran Tate Todoro with 12 points for Mindoro Tam CDO Idol Chief Dog. Pretty sure a lot of them will end up with double figure points. Dito makikita natin, Sarmiento lang and uh, Espiritu medyo mababa, but expect them to add more points to their name in the second half. You saw, Coach, in their previous games, itong both, both, both squads had really relatively low scoring outputs in the games. Na yun. But at this point of the match, 42 points na para sa Mendoro and 39 na para sa Makati Manila Kingpin. And with the way the pace that's going in this match, we can expect a lot more points to be poured on by both teams. Yes, that's so true. No, ito, they're, they're starting out itong Mindoro with a strong batch of guys. Ang, nang, ang nangyari sa umpisa ng second quarter, kaya lumamang ang Makati, is they took advantage of the younger guys who came in to substitute yung starters for this halftime. So that's what Makati should look to do pag pumasok na ang uh, second unit ng Mindoro pressure basketball again and you know I've, I've played for uh, coach Vis Valencia way back when I was still in high school and this is really his brand of basketball pressure defense fast breaking opportunities really getting easy opportunities yan talaga ang brand of basketball na na ni coach Vis Valencia and this is what he is bringing to Makati Manila Kingpin at yan ang gusto yata ng maraming coach ng mga players nila very versatile runners, willing to go all out energy-wise in both aspects of the floor. Morales missing his three-point attempt in the first possession ng Manila King, Makati Manila Kingpin of this second half. Sunga missing on that layup attempt, but Vaigan with the offensive rebound, it trickles in. First shot, first make para dito kay Vaigan dito sa second half. So, nga, right place at the right time for Vaigan. Natapik ng Makati hoping for a teammate to get the ball. Vaigan na lang ang nakakuha and connects. Man to man defense being showed here by the Blue Shirts. Arpia attempts a three as Vaigan goes under the screen but that misses. Mindoro once again pushing the tempo. Vaigan driving baseline cross over and that manufactures inside Vaigan back to back baskets para dito sa taps. Reacting to the defense, ano? Nakatayo ang defensa. Sinigsag niya for that easy layup. 
And yan coach yung value ng veteran presence sa iyong koponan when you have a lot of young guys in a close game like this nung first half puro gigil a lot of uh, really helter-skelter basketball but the veterans trying to settle you guys down Tete Todoro attempting a three-pointer that is short and Makati trying to run it back ang veterano kasi hindi na pressure composed na composed pag meron silang possession ng bola Tete Todoro people might think if you have your hand up it will affect shooters, but true shooters are no longer affected by hands being up in their face. Yeah, and we all know how much experience Tate Todoro has had throughout his career. He has seen a lot as Sunga able to knock down a three-pointer really has been one of the strengths for Mindoro in this game. Seven out of 17 already as we turn you over to our courtside reporter, Ms. Sheila Salaysay. Sheila, what do you have for us? Well, after that first half, sa hindi naman ganun kadismayado si Coach Viz Valencia dahil konti nga lang naman ang lamang dito ng Mindoro. But going up against this uh, Mindoro Tamaros, he wants them to prioritize and make adjustments on their defensive end dahil ito nga ang tangin niyang magbibigay sa kanila na panalo. He wants his guys to be more confident going into the third and fourth quarter. Have in, Coach JV. That's right, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila, for that report. And yun nga, Coach, defense ang ina-emphasize ni Coach Viz Valencia. Oo nga, pero I don't see what there is to adjust. Maganda na ang depensa ng Makati. Mas maganda lang pumapasok lang ang tres ng Mindoro. And I guess, like I mentioned sa ating uh, halftime commenting, is that any, they have to step up and cause more turnovers sa Mindoro. But that won't guarantee a win because 18 turnovers, still down sila by how many points. I guess perfect defense is what Coach Viz, and that's understandable. But I think, Coach, to the point of Coach Viz Valencia, perfect defense ends up with defensive rebounds. Yeah. And that has been their problem all game long as they have been out-rebounded in this game 41-19. to 19. Previous game as well. Makati getting back to possession but swings back once again to Mindoro. This has been the story of the ball game. Rodel Vaigan getting fouled underneath. Both teams swinging possessions back and forth, turnover after turnover. Napapagod na kami ni Coach JV, kakaikot ng leeg namin. You see here, Larry Arpia behind the back pass, getting it back. Mana Makati Manalakik mid scoring on that fast break opportunity. And we see here, Arpia hesitation, binomba at naipasok ang kanyadira sa loob. But Mindoro still holding a six-point advantage as Vaigan is our guest at the 15-foot line. Rodel makes his first shot. I'm speechless now because every time I look at the stats, it's going to be the same thing. The turnovers, the points of turnovers. And it's nice to mention, but people watching will probably say, Oy, iba naman pag mo. But it can't, it, it, it's, the, it's what's happening right now. And I, we just have to keep pointing it out because napakaganda ang nangyayari. Exactly, Coach. I mean, we cannot really call what we cannot see. Oh, nga. Totoo yun. Makati on the offensive. They're looking for Arpia. He gets it at the top of the key against Vaigan. Vaigan, a little bit of space offered, but misses the three-pointer. Another offensive rebound, Collard here. Para sa Makati. See here, Arpia missing the three from the top of the key, but Sarmento at the right place at the right time. But Arpia's shot actually was caused by great defense. And then after the shot, everybody just stopped. Mindoro just stopped and waited for the ball to come to them. And that's the sad part about defense. You cannot stop till you get that ball. Exactly, Coach. As we've been iterating time and time again in this coverage, you finish a defensive possession with a defensive rebound. Right. So true, Javi. Sunga hands it over. Mendoro losing possession once again. Makati is on the run. Sarmiento sidestepping but is foiled. And referees are pointing possession back to the blue shirts. Mindoro once again has a chance to pad on to the six-point advantage. You see here, sidestep, but Baila is there to block that shot. Doon makikita sa ating re replay, nilabas yung bola, and that one, that's why it was easily blocked. Sometimes you have to hide the ball using your body. Oftentimes, actually, it would be best. Sunga 
running into a roadblock. But uh, no foul will be called. However, possession will stay with Mindoro. Alam mo, I noticed, Javi, everybody's trying to dribble one-on-one -on -one into a zone, a slightly zone setup on defense. And that's the reason why naaagaw ang bo bola dito sa Mindoro. Baila getting the ball on the corners. Tight space there by Kedoro, but no problem whatsoever. 50-pointer of the ball game for Tete. Hands up really means nothing. Samonte for the three. Uh, misses Mindoro out on the run. Nobody home for Makati. And Rodel Vaigan finishes on the break. And suddenly, Mindoro is up by 11 points. Largest lead na ata ito sa ating game. 11 points by Mindoro. A three-pointer by Tete Mindoro. Look at this very tight spot right there. Almost a double team being made by Makati Manila Kingpin. Good defense, but better O by Mr. Teodoro. And Mindoro again up by 11 points at this point. Their biggest lead of the ball game, 56 to 45. MPBL fans, we will, we will be right back. Here you see the crowd here really piling on dito sa Batangas City Coliseum in the beautiful province of Batangas. Again, I've said great food, great views, but great basketball action unfolding. We are just in our first game of our doubleheader dito sa Okbet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Happy Palanya together with Coach JV Gayoso and Ms. Sheila Salaysay on the sidelines. Coach, first game pa lang tayo. We are just in the third quarter, but the action is really heating up. Heating up talaga. At ako'y natawa naman ako nung pinan nila sa ating mga fans. Ang mga fans nung nakita, nakaharap sa kanila camera, biglang nagtangkala ng mask <laughs> para makamahalata ka nila ang mga mukha nila on TV. Well, alam mo naman yung mga Pinoy really likes their screen time as our referees call a dribbling violation. Missed opportunity right there for Mindoro. But the good thing about this is for Makati, they have a chance to make make do with their boo-boo that they had off that timeout. Alam mo, Javi, 21st turnover ng Mindoro yung nangyari kay Baigan kanina. And still, they are up by 11 <laughs> points at this point. 56 to 45, less than four minutes, less than five minutes to go dito sa ating third quarter. Another missed three-point attempt right there by Makati. Chidoro bringing up the wall. Espiritu down low to Baila. Baila is at the post. Kicks it out. Teodoro up big. In and out. Drop pass to Baila. Sees two defenders. Sarmiento able to defend that shot well. Well, Baila was actually trying to go for a foul. A no call there by the refs. Good call for the, Good no call for the, by the refs. And Santa Maria playing that screen and roll action very well. Baiting his defender with an in-and-out crossover in the three. Lead is just eight points. But as I say that, lead is back to 11 once again as Sunga makes a three-pointer from the left corner. Yun ang binabanggit ni Coach Viz. Nakaka-score na sila, but they allow Mindoro to score. Nababawi ang kanilang effort on the offensive end. And when you are the team that is down at this point, as you see here, this three-pointer in and out, step back three-pointer by Santa Maria, but trims the lead to eight. But Suma, hey, I'm still here. I'm gonna make this three-pointer lead is back to 11, where it is. And again, coach, 
if you're the team down at this point of the game, it's not enough na makipagpalitan ka ng baskets. Yeah, especially when you take three-point shots because mahaba pa ang oras natin, bring that ball to a higher percentage upper, ano, position for you to score. And Arpia missing on that perimeter jumper, but Makati gets another opportunity. Three-pointer once again missed by Makati Manila Kingpin. Turnover, another one for Mindoro and Arpia. This time, able to capitalize. That was a long drought for the white shirt. Ball hogging that, ano, left to right movement. Nawala ang bola sa kanya. Makati capitalizing on that loss. Oh, another turnover right here by Mindoro. Just when we were saying, coach, at the half of air, that you cannot commit 18 more, more turnovers dito sa second half. Looks like Mindoro still continuing that trend. So, wala silang ano, I guess, para sa kanila, okay lang mag-turnover, basta we come back down on defense and prevent Makati to score. I guess that's the only thing. And that's the best thing to do. If you turn over, bumawi na lang. Well, I'm sure the head coach of Mindoro still very happy that his team is up by nine points at this point, despite the multitude of turnovers that they have had. It's already up to 21 turnovers para dito sa Mindoro Tabs. But 59 to 50 pa rin ang ating score. 247 left in our third quarter. Makati having a hard time cracking the defense of the Mindoro Tabs. Santa Maria at the line, missing his first shot. Alam mo, uh, mixed emotions. Ano, nakakatuwang tingnan ang, ang, ang coaching staff ng Mindoro pag nag-turnover. The frustration is there. Pero pag nakascore naman at nakapagbigil pala ang Mindoro sa pag-score ng Makati, natutuhan naman. So, it's just nice to see the reaction of the coaching staff of Mindoro. Espiritu hands it off. And there is a foul called a push on Arpia. Ito yung second unit ng Mindoro that they need to harass. This, ito yung ginamit nung second quarter, start of the second quarter. Kaya lumamang ang Makati. Almost an inbound error there. Espiritu trying to set up the play here. Waiting for a screen. Drives right, pulls up for a three. He misses. Arpia comes up with a rebound. But Mindoro able to get possession back. Palma misses on a three. And uh, the physicality still building on at this point of the match, coach. Alam mo, Javi, I don't understand. No, nakuha na ng Mindoro. They make a foul because of their extra aggressive movement and frustration. Why not just put that energy in getting those defensive rebounds? And that seems to be the problem, coach. More so siguro for Makati because they are down at this point of the match. Yung energy nila, they cannot channel it into the proper ways. Oh, oh my. And that's the reason why medyo si coach this uh, na rin because he sees the effort and he loves the effort of his team but another second chance opportunity here for Mindoro three-point shot hoisted right there from the right corner but Sarmiento was there to block the shot sideline inbound right here para sa blue shirts still an eight-point lead being held by Mindoro CDO cheese dog against Makati Manila Kingpin. Espiritu time winding down on the shot clock. Turnover once again, Arpia. He is the only guy on the break, but no problem right there by Larry, who finishes 14 points in the game. And this is what Makati needs to do. Run itong unit ng Mindoro down with fast breaks. Get the rebound and run. But this time, Mindoro scores. Ken Osikos getting a jumper right there despite the hand in his face. And another botched stop by Makati. Nakascore sila on the fast break, but not getting another stop. Santa Maria, however, wanting to trim the lead once again. Second three pointer of the third quarter para dito kay Santa Maria. Oh, he just came into the shot, ano? Talagang relax na relax. Saw himself with a bit of space and he took it. Santa Maria, second three for the night. Espiritu misses. Makati coming up with, with a defensive rebound. 
the captain, Mark Santa Maria, trying to get his troops back into this game. It's just a five point advantage by Mindoro. Arpia free on the right corner momentarily. Morales swings it to the left side. A missed three once again by Makati. Kung hindi si Santa Maria ang tumitira ng tres, Makati not really able to get those shots from rainbow distance. Great defense there by Mendoro, forcing Santa Maria to push his defender down on the ground, getting that foul call from the ref. The Pumusen, I believe, has been zero out of four in this third quarter alone, and he has been hoisting three-point shots from that same spot. Larry Arpia will take a breather. 22 seconds left on our game clock. The shot clock is off. 2-3 zone defense right here by Makati. And they get the ball a chance to write the final sentence of this third quarter. Santa Maria sees daylight. Mark Santa Maria, the captain of Makati Manila Kingpin, able to trim this deficit to just three points. The lefty getting in the lane, getting the layup up and in. Oh, nga, nakita, biglang the parting of the Red Sea. Santa Maria entering, sees that hole, and scores. I see here highlights from the third quarter. Rodel Vaigan having a strong start to this period. 16 points already in the ball game, 50% from the field. Hitting shots from the outside, driving, making mince meat of the defense, and 10 rebounds also finishing on the break. Ito si Rodel Vaigan. Well, you can really rely on this Vaigan doing so many things on offense for his team. But uh, Makati able to finish that third period strong. Score is 61 to 58. Hang in there, MBB, MBBL fans. We will be right back after these messages. at the Batanga City Coliseum in the first game of our doubleheader Dito sa 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. My name is Javi Palanya together with Coach JV Gayoso. On the sidelines, we have Miss Sheila Salaysay bringing you the action. Makati Manila Kingpin finishing that third quarter strong to trim what was once an 11-point lead to just three. The score is 61 to 58 as we begin the final chapter of this first game. Nice ball movement by Mindoro. Defense extending. Ito magita natin quarter scoring 15 to 20 favoring Mindoro 22 20, 24 22 by Makati 19 all for both teams 58 61 in favor of Mindoro. Whoa! And Baigan thought he was all alone right there. But Makati able to catch up. The Pumuseno trying once again, this time from a different spot, but all air on that shot. Yodoro in transition, cross over. Ooh, just misses on the left side of the ring. Ito si Tate Todoro. Makati pushing the tempo. Lloren. That is stolen by Tate, but another turn. Over. How many times am I going to say that in this game, Coach JV? Ma, ma, madame pa. Uh, I, I, I can, I suspect, na no, good effort there on the steal by Tete Chedoro. Nagnakao at binigay. Here, that steal by Chedoro. 
And that's nice to see. The, it's the timing. But the bad pass after the steal, that's what hurts. Santa Maria kicking out to Loren. Misses on the right side. And Mindoro will slow up the offense. Turnover story right here, Coach. 25 turnovers compared to just 8 for Makati Manila Kingpin. But Mindoro is up by 5. By God, missing on the three point attempt. Tete will once again hoist it up. Missing from the left side. Three pointers have not been kind to Mindoro in the second half. Alamo, this may hurt uh, Mindoro because they're looking for the threes even if they don't need it. Every possession counts, and you, it, two points is better than none. Try to you know bring that ball closer inside, and then let the defense may force you to rotate outside. Ito, three pointer by Makati. Morales cutting the deficit to just two points. A one possession ball game right now at our hands. 63 to 61. We are in the fourth quarter. Less than eight minutes remaining. Dito sa ating first game. Cuenco out to Vaigan. Back to Cuenco. Three-pointer again. That is short. And again, a three-pointer coach you mentioned kanina. Hindi naman kailangan ng tres nito Mindoro. Oh, and I can see if they move without the ball itong Mindoro, they can actually penetrate against the defense of Makati because they're smaller itong Makati team. It's Sarmento scoring on the basket inside Mindoro looking to lose team. You see their body language. Parang napapagod na sa depensa itong blue shirts. There we see mismatches down low. But ball is rotated every single time sa labas. But we don't see any post-entry coach or any drives to the basket. But here, Vaigan kicks it out to Cuenco. Another three-pointer. That is short. Once again, that same two-man game which resulted in the same thing. Three-pointer by Cuenco. A short miss in Makati. With possession right here, Morales. Back-to-back three-pointers by Alvin Morales to get them back in the driver's seat. Wow, I mean, coach. Up and down basketball we have seen here. Alvin Morales. Feeling it. Making it. He is just feeling it right there, coach. As you said, Alvin Morales. Second three-pointer. We are just at the beginning of our final quarter. 66 Sorry, that was a two-pointer. Uh, we we uh, stand corrected right here. So our is 65 to 63. Makati back in the driver's seat. We will, we, we will be right back after a few messages. Babalik po tayo dito sa Batangas City Coliseum in the beautiful province of Batangas. We are in the first game as we see here Commissioner Kenneth Doremdes and uh, Boss uh, Emer Oreta and Boss Rudy Distrito, the brain trust of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. And as we turn you over to our courtside reporter, Ms. Sheila Salaysay. Sheila. Yes, Javi. Kung mapapansin nyo kapag si Lady Chodor ang may hawak ng bola, pati mga mga batanggenyos dito sa loob ng arena, very excited. Bakit hindi? Going back, backtracking a little bit, Lady Chodor played for Batangas for two seasons dito sa MPBL and being the only extra on the team ngayon para sa Mindoro Dams. Fresh and si Tate dahil mas sanay daw siya, mas madaming veterano sa team. Dagdag pa niya, 50% pa lang siyang nakapag-adjust. Pero naniniwala siya na may rason at na nasa Mindoro Tam siya for this season. For tonight's game, he reminds his teammates to play without pressure at huwag kalimutan. Enjoy ang laro. Balik sa inyo. Thank you so much, Sheila, for that report. Alam mo, sorry, Javi. 
I like what uh, Sheila pointed out. No? Tate Jodoro, ang dami niyong kasamang veterano noon. Like I mentioned, he would come off the bench and he would be the spark plug for his team. But this time, nakafocus talaga ang depensa sa kanya. Now, having said that, we were talking about how in, in Sheila's earlier report, how Coach Viz wanted the, the defense to step up. Ito, makikita natin muna sa ating replay. Three-pointer by Morales. Paul Neto. In, in Sheila's previous report, Coach Viz wanted the, the team to step up on defense. And that's the reason why in their previous attempts, Mindoro was forced to take three-point shots. Great defense, great adjustment by Makati. And Baila making the free throw right here to trim the lead to just one point, 68 to 67. We are almost midway to the final period of our first game. Remember, guys, we still have Basic going up against the home team, Batangas, in our second game. So please stay tuned to catch that match. Sarmiento, butterfingers on that pass. Failed opportunity right there by the white shirts. Angle. Still a one-point lead held by them. Sorry, Javi. Angle ng cutter. Usually when the player makes an attempt to the basket, you find your, you put yourself as a receiver at an angle na masasalumok, whether hard or not. Mali lang ang angle ng receive, sayang. And you see Sunga making that three-pointer from the left wing. Sabi mo kanina, coach, they don't really need to make three-pointers. But ngayon, nadikit na yung laro. They put this three-pointer, put them back in the lead. 70-68, to 68. Sunga has been hitting three-pointers all game long. All game long. Tate Todoro faking off and passing off at the last minute. Dito kay Sunga, who hits another three-pointer. 12 points in the game. Babap Santa Maria. Blitz gives it up to, Lor to Loren Morales. In the corner, three-pointer right there by Lasco. Teodoro, three from three. That is long. Santa Maria takes control of the board. Two on one. Sarmiento on the right wing. He finishes easily on the layup. Makati up by just three points, 70 to 73 to 70. And there will be a foul called against Makati Manila Kingpin. Babab Santa Maria, you see here, leading the break. Bounce pass to his big man, Sarmiento. 18th assist of the game para dito sa Makati Manila Kingpin. Medyo bumagal ang depensa doon ng Mindoro. Tate Chodoro was asking for a foul after his three-point attempt that led to the fast break. Santa Maria dishing off the Sarmiento. In a, in a game as close as this, Coach JV, no? Parang mahirap na sumugal ka na when you don't get that foul call, just go back on defense at bawiin na lang kung ano yung ma, uh, na hindi mo nagawa sa opensa. Tama ka doon having nararapat talaga. And that's what the, the game demands. You make a, 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 a bad play on offense, come back down on D. Babap Santa Maria, the captain of Makati Manila Kingpin, setting up the table. Gets a screen from Morales. Crossover. Trying to elude itong si Cuenco. The ball is still in Santa Maria's hands. Finds Lastra. He hit a three earlier. This time, it's long. Cuenco bringing it up for Mindoro. Rush screen from Sunga. Sunga, last minute pass to Baila. Excellent ball movement right there for Mindoro. Yung mga ganun sitwasyon, hindi mo inaasahan, hindi mo pinaplano. You see what happens. You see a teammate open, unselfish play there by Sunga. So the, here at Coach in this fourth quarter, medyo kumalma na ang mga players ng both teams. Wala na masyado yung gigil factor na nakita natin ng first two quarters. Sunga, you see here the replay. Excellent drop pass at the last moment to Baila who hits that bank shot. Bank is open at 8.30 p.m. para dito sa Mindoro. Sorry, sorry, Javi. Yan ang mga plays na nakaka-encourage, you know. You see a person going strong to the basket and then on the last second, he drops off. That encourages the player 
to move without the ball, come closer to the basket and make himself open. Sadly, biglang na substitute. <laughs> Santa Maria misses a three from the left corner, but there will be a foul on the rebounds play. And it will be on Lastra. So Makati still holding on to a one-point lead here. 3 and 15 remaining in this game. Coach Bisbalen sa binunot muli si Larry Arpia for Babak Santa Maria. Well rested na ito si Arpia at magandang ginawa ng unit sa loob habang wala si Arpia. Pero may kutob ako parang pupukol ito si Vaigan ng isang tres. Vaigan gets a screen from Abadeza. Abadeza! Excellent roll to the basket. No one there to meet him. No one there. Nice, la I know, nice cut to the basket. Great pass by Vaigan. Excellent recognition there by the veteran. Puts them ahead by one. 74 to 73. Arbia. Screen and roll action at the top of the key. And a little bit too aggressive right there was Cuenco as he was called for the defensive foul. Well, Cuenco went straight to Morales. I think it's going to be great pass there. Easy two points. Here I thought he really played nila Cuenco going straight for Morales. Kaya siya natawagan ng foul. Arpia step back jumper is pure. Larry Arpia continuing his scoring ways. 16 points in the ball game. Nakapahinga kasi and that's the reason why he had those legs to give him air time. Will it be a turnover right here? Oh, Mendoro gets the ball back. Cuenco to Teodoro. Swing to Vaigan on the left corner. That is short. Rebound ends up with... Min it will stay with Mindoro. Mindoro pa rin. Ano? Vaigan always asking for a foul. Every time he takes the shot, he extends his feet forward. Not to uh, create contact, but it's his style of shooting. And every time he's hit, no call is being made. And he looks shaken up right here, coach. Still on the ground, itong si Rodel Vaigan. The leading scorer para dito sa kanyang koponan with 16 points. Amply backed up by Tete Teodoro, who has 15. And Sunga, who has 12. But at this moment, Midoro, CDO Cheese Dog, will take a ceasefire. And we will be right back. Do not leave us, mga MDBL fans. For 75 to 74, we will be back after these messages. Babalik po kami dito sa Batangas City Coliseum here in the province of Batangas. We are here in our first game of our doubleheader dito sa Okbet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season presented by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Happy Palanya with Coach JV Gayoso and Mishila Salaysay working the sidelines. Two minutes and seven seconds left. Dito sa ating first game between Mindoro and Makati. Pag may viewers tayo na nag-tune in ngayon at nakita yung stats of turnovers, hindi sila magugulat at Mindoro is down. But Mindoro has been a great, doing a great job. Vaigan. Rodel Vaigan, once again, big shot para sa kanyang kumpunan to put them back in the lead 77 to 75 and that attempt was way out 
Makita natin ngayon, 3-point field goals. 10 of 33 for Makati. 9 of 37 para sa Mindo Mindoro. Baliktad ako, sorry. 10 of 33 for Mindoro. My bad, my bad. 11 of 16 naman sa free throws uh, in favoring uh, Mindoro. That was a few feet from the three-point area and Rodel Vaigan, no hesitation hitting that three-point shot to give his team back the lead coach. Imagine 73 point shots between these two teams. And I had a feeling he was gonna make one of those threes again. But Santa Maria still hitting. This guy was three out of six from downtown no Canela game against Val City M Jazinet. But this time hitting a better clip from the outside. Give his team back. Ito Kalamangan Suma out to Baigan from the right corner. Baigan missing. Possession swings to Makati, but they can't seem to secure the leather, and our referees will call a jump ball. The score is 77 to 78, Makati in the lead, one minute and 11 seconds left. Dito sa ating first game. Crucial possession, di kailangan ng tres, but by gun, let's see by gun. Felt it, took it, but missed. Sayang. Timeout will be called right here. Wag kayong aalis mga kaibigan. We will be right back after this. Babalik po kami mga kaibigan dito sa Batangas City Coliseum once again. Javi Balanya and Coach JB Gayoso together with Miss Chila Salaysay working the sidelines. Score is 78 to 77 between Makati Manila Kingpin and Mendoro CDO Cheese Dog. One minute and 11 change left dito sa fourth quarter ng ating first game for our MPBL 2022 regular season doubleheader dito sa Batangas City Coliseum. Magandang game ito because coming off a loss, ngayon makikita natin mga standouts of both teams. And this time, Mindoro, kompleto na sila. Arpia, three from three from the right corner. Misses, offensive rebound, Makati. Santa Maria, driving in the lane. Pinoy step, drops it off to his big man, Pableo. And Kobe Bryant, Pableo, able to score inside. Santa Maria, great move, attracting the attention, leaving his teammate open. Great bounce pass right there to Kobe Bryant Pableo, finishing with the left hand, the long and slender Pableo, really celebrating uh, that shot to give his team the three point advantage. 80 to 77. Time out, Muli Tayo, mga kaibigan. We will be right back. Hang in there.
And we are back here sa Batangas City Coliseum as you take a look at the highlights of Makati's main gun, Larry Arpia. 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists in the game. Doing it from all areas of the floor, driving to the basket, sidestepping to the rim, hitting from the outside. He has just been a great cog for Coach Bis Valencia in their cause to get their first win. At ang malaking bagay dito, the latter part of the fourth quarter, fresh na fresh ang legs niya because he got to sit a long time, got the rest he needed. This time, he's much stronger, more aggressive. Titignan natin what Makati can do on defense. Now, I want to point out the offense of Mindoro. They have no choice but to take the three. Unlike earlier, we were mentioning when they were up, they didn't really need the three. Titignan natin if this time they will actually be successful in looking for the three. Titignan natin pip, ano, kung sino ang sa kanila ang pipili para tumira. So coach, 43 seconds left here. Mola nasa panic ng Mindoro. Will they look for the three-point shot? But looks like it's gonna be a turnover once again. It a very crucial one at that. Down by three points, 43 seconds remaining. Not really much of a harassment on the defensive end para sa Makati. But two receivers were actually asking for the ball. And Vaigan stopped because he was the passer was probably looking for Tete Chodoro. And coach, that was a very crucial mistake. 27 turnovers para dito sa Mindoro and 12 para sa Makati. Crucial na crucial yun because Mindoro has no more timeouts left. Mindoro has another crack here. 28 seconds left. Sunga. Vaigan on the right corner again looking for the foul but he misses Sunga. Offensive rebound and he gets a foul. From Makati, he will troop to the line. 20 seconds left. Dito, 80 to 77 is our score. Helter Skelter basketball. Swing to the corner by Gan once again, trying to bait his defender for a foul. Para coach na una pa yung arte don, but Suna luckily getting the offensive rebound and fishing for the foul. Tama ka dun in that situation. Ano, parang sinamahan niya na ng konting uh, arte nga. Ika nga sa nabanggit mo. And that time still, good no, no call by the referees. Pero you see the difference, ano, when you need to take a three and when you don't need to take a three. In this case for Mindoro, sayang they had so many opportunities that they could have gone two by two by two. Every possession, they opted to take threes when it didn't really matter. And Suga missing on his second free throw, a split at the line. Para dito kay Lars Sunga. Two point advantage being held here by Makati Manila Kingpin. Sunga has 13 points and 12 rebounds in this game. 18.1 seconds left dito sa ating laro. Alam mo, Javi, yung nababanggit ko is only based by the misses that they had. No? Pero kung pumasok naman yung mga trees na yun, I'd probably be saying something different. Foul game has to be played here by Mindoro because they don't have any timeouts left. They will be forced to put a white shirt on the line. And Makati has a chance to seal this game for them. Put them up by four points. To put this game well away for them and make it a two-possession ball game. Larry Arpia has been the top gun para kay Coach Bis Valencia. First free throw is up and in all net. Three point lead, 81 to 78. Will this be the free throw to seal the game? Para dito sa Makati Manila Kingpin. In a miss! Sunga with the rebound. Espirito ng Papadali. Tudoro from the left wing. Short. Rebound ends up with Makati. And Mindoro has no recourse. But the foul, 7.3 seconds left. Score is 81 to 78. Coach, just numerous chances for Mindoro CDO Cheese Dog to either tie the game or even seal the victory for them during the last earlier parts of this fourth quarter. Oh, nga. I thought na tamaan ng bola, but there we see in the replay, wala talaga. And he just threw that ball short. And Lastra is our guest on the charity stripe. He makes his first free throw. Two possession ball game right now. 82 to 78. And it looks like 
with 7.3 seconds remaining dito sa ating laro. Makati Manila Kingpin will run away with their first victory of this Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season. Final buzzer has sounded. The score is 82 to 78. Makati Manila Kingpin, despite being out rebounded by so much, ends up with their first victory of the regular season against Mindoro Tams. Maganda ang pakiramdam ngayon for Makati because they created so many turnovers. 28 by Mindoro. Uh, 28 points off of turnovers. 27 turnovers by Mindoro. And yun, laking bagay yun. Kaya nanalo eventually ang Makati. Coach, again, the rebounding. I mentioned 63 rebounds para dito sa Mindoro but just 39 for Makati. You would think that if you're rebounded by that big a margin, mahihirapan ka to hack out a victory. But Makati Manila Kingpin just getting the breaks of the game, capitalizing on the errors of Mindoro in the end game, ending up with a victory in this one, 82 to 78. Tama ka dun, Javi. And here you see the highlights of our best player of the game, Coach. She picked none other then the top scorer of Makati Manila Kingpin, Larry Arpia, 17 points in this game. Well, uh, Larry Arpia not only scored, but he actually created a lot of the attention brought to him no, because of his ability, and that opened up his teammates to score. Napakaganda ang kanyang presence sa ating laro. Uh, Larry Arpia. And uh, our best player, Larry Arpia, is with our courtside reporter, Ms. Sheila Salaysay. Sheila. Yes, after four quarters of CISO battle and mostly young guns, it's Makati Manila Kingpin who takes uh, their first W for this season and I'm with their best player. Congratulations, Larry Arpia. Larry, uh, during the first half, it was Mondoro who, who was uh, in the lead, but it was not until the last minutes of the fourth quarter that you guys were able to uh, take that lead and took over the game. So what take us through that? I think uh, the adjustment that we made was uh, Good defense, and they were leading us to a good running offense. Uh, we're trying to get all their shooters and not make all those threes, but yeah, I think uh, we made it to the end. How do you think you guys will be consistent towards your next game? Uh, I think our hard work and our talent. Uh, we got a young gun team. Uh, we're trying to make everything perfect as we can, and then all our uh, coaching staff is trying to uh, help us to, to win our games. Do you have any people you want to say thank you to? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my girl Michelle and my upcoming baby. Um, and also to my mom in California, uh, to all my kids uh, and friends uh, watching out, and to my family out here that came out uh, to watch the game. And also to Boss Pal for giving me an opportunity to play Team Kumbushon, Hot Boys, um, all of the uh, people out there. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much and congratulations again our best player of the game, Larry. Hey, and thanks for you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to you, Javier and Coach JV. Thank you so Thank much, you, Sheila. Sheila. And uh, that was our best player, Larry Arpia. Once again, Makati Manila Kingpin ending up victorious, getting their first victory Tita sa Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League 2022 regular season over the Mindoro Tam CDO Idol Cheese Dog. Stay tuned, guys, because there will be a second game debuting passing against the home team, Batanga City Embassy Chill. Don't forget, we will still be here, guys. Wag kayo mag-alala. We will still be here, Coach JV Gayoso. Happy Palanya and Mishila Salaysay on behalf of our wonderful broadcast crew. Please stay tuned for the second game of our doubleheader dito sa 2022 regular season ng Maharlika Pilipinas Pilipinas Basketball League, ang liga ng bawat Pilipino.